guys. First fight in the bag. First run finish. My goodness. And next up, we've got Connor McFadden. Connor. Oh, two young teenagers again, hybrid MMA, Tom Mallon. Connor McFadden from Northampton Fight Academy. This will be serious business. Let's go for some facts and Connor first. Um, he's a student, he's from Loch Gill. Uh, he found martial arts through playing the UFC game. Interesting, oh. but I like Nothing it. Against it. Uh, he likes battering people, and BJJ is, is what he feels is his strength. He, he likes battering people. Fair enough. Let's see uh, if hey, he can Look, he's in the right game now, isn't he? Favorite martial artist is Charles Oliveira, and the bonus question also no party trick. I, I I don't believe that for a minute. I'm sure these young people have plenty Everyone of party, has a party trick. <laughs> <laughs> What's your party trick, Reese? Oh, <laughs> flip my down under pressure. <laughs> it's a secret? Well, I would write mine. I can fight people. That's what mine would be. That's a, okay, that's a good one. I like it. I like That'll it. be my party trick. <laughs> what about yours? What's yours? Uh, I have really nice extravagant ties. <laughs> yeah. I like to bring out with me. Hopefully party. they can see it on the stream here. <laughs> so, we're coming out to Thunderstruck, guys. Love it. I'm feeling slightly Thunderstruck as well. Just that the, the energy in this place is great. But young Conor McFadden making his way in the ring. And now we'll have his op opponent coming in, Tom Mallon from Hybrid. Young Tom. Oh, he's coming out the gangster music. I like it. Oh, yeah. Student. Student of the game. More like it. And also Tom found the martial arts from the UFC game as well. I Maybe think these guys the play each other online. Who I knows? Think that's like the, fo the fourth person. Maybe UFC are paying this promotion <laughs> for the shout outs. <laughs> uh, that's it. I reckon they play it online and then they're like, you know what? Just settle this in the cage, yeah. okay? <laughs> so Tom loves the most about this sport is the winning aspect of it. Who doesn't? Great attitude. And he, he's seriously into his BJJ. So great attitude to have from this young man and who's his favorite martial artist well it's the man in the mirror <laughs> nice answer a good answer yep especially the man in the mirror looking back he's a good looking bloke it's always good <laughs> <laughs> just like myself <laughs> and let me see his bonus question Hi. what's his party trick he can do the worm I want to see if this young man I wins tonight. I want to see him yeah. do the worm. You can make the shout for the worm. I will Should be, I'll be shouting. Win. Tom, I want to see the worm if you win this match, <laughs> okay? Oh, he comes big stop fight. Oh, he's feeling it. He's definitely bouncing off for the worm, isn't he? Oh, he is all right. So these two young whippersnappers coming in for the, for the second fight of the day. This is going to be exciting. Two UFC gamers. <laughs> About to make it happen in reality in the cage. Here we go. So novice, novice rules again, guys. Okay, no head strikes. Oh. But everything else goes. Yeah. That was a great takedown sweep from Tom. Look, he's using that jujitsu. He's, he's come out heavy, he's doesn't he? Controlling those hips. He's, he, he's looking at a heavy cross face, but um, McFadden's doing well to keep him at bay. Nice to see him trying to use the fence to kind of oh, find back the position. He's though. got that nice knee on belly technique, trying to slide into mount, folks. And guys, look, Tom is controlling with his left arm the, the head of um, Connor here. He's trying to keep him pinned on the ground. He just needs to, he's using that head to pry him down. That's a lot of pressure being put down on um, Connor here. Now, t Tom's trying to work the body. Remember, folks, no headshots in these. Novice rules, just to protect the fighters, guys. So it's don't want kids getting punched too early. A few big strikes here, but look, he's Connor's covering up here. This could be called off. This could be Connor needs to start making a move because Tom is absolutely dominating on top here. Connor needs to start bridging and shrimping. He's trying to get those legs into Connor's and the Tom's armpits, but Tom was wise to it. He's keeping strong on that mount, sitting down on those hips. Kind of last kind of ditch effort there from Connor. 
And it's kind of got this is how tiring is this race when someone's on top throwing these yeah, shots this on is you. Fatiguing. And you have to commit. He's going to get hit the shots anyway, so he just has to move. He's going two on one on the on the knee, which is quite he's nice. He's doing the right thing now. Yep. He's even trying to get that even if he gives himself that bit of a break, so the ref gives him more of a chance. Absolutely. But Tom's oh. going for an arm bar, showing that jujitsu skills. Very nice. Could we have our second oh. arm bar in a row? Uh, that's the second one. Yeah, absolutely. Jujitsu's making a comeback. Put the hands locked. There's a 10 second. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, Connor. Right. so well to spin out of that, but Tom is smart. He needs to. Oh, uh, saved by the bell. That was an amazing escape by Connor, but equally an amazing by Tom to put that pressure on that young man. And Tom lets out the most alpha scream I've ever heard. He's up for it. Yeah, that's the man in the mirror coming out there, guys. <laughs> Every morning he goes into the bathroom. That's what he does. Can't believe we nearly had our second armbar in a row. Oh, no, I know. So how do you have that round score, Reese? Yeah, I mean, Tom come out. He, you know, he, I think at the start what actually happened was he threw a kick and he fell and he just solidified the position. So he did, yep. Tom was solid there. Some nice strikes. It, it's interesting with the strikes. Obviously, they're not concussive blows because they're body punches, but they still need to make sure the fighter's safe. And uh, absolutely. Tell you what, if anything, I'll give you a queer and dead arm anyway. I'm <laughs> sure, <laughs> right? <So yeah. laughs> we can't have that either. Two dodgy ribs after that one, yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> so I don't know. I think Connor needs to come out uh, a bit earlier. He probably gets shocked with the pace Tom came out with there. Tom, Tom giving an amazing pace there. Yep, absolutely. Now, let's see if Tom can try and recreate what he did in round one. If he wants to steal the victory here. Let's see, round two. Here we go. Great inside gear kicks by both guys. Nice tapes. Oh, Tom's going for that takedown again, but he got it. He got it, guys. And Connor can't really like set that position because you know Tom's going to try and take that top position and just get the strikes going again. Tom's really grinding on that face with that forearm. It's nasty for anybody that doesn't think it is, it is. That's a nice catch wrestling esque type of move. Nice. So Tom's sitting those hips heavy down on Connor so he cannot move. Could attack that arm. Oh, maybe not. There we go. He's going to move the scarf for the arm bar. Very nice. Tom in the knee on belly, nice. Getting that arm bar, guys. Oh, tight, he got it! Wow! Yeah. Mon the mirror it. did it! He came back for the arm, that's for sure. Oh. Good job from Connor too, obviously very fresh. Look, a lot to be proud in, stepping in the cage, taking on someone, you know, absolutely like fantastic work. Connor did so well, I just feel Tom's pace and his energy was just just yeah. too much for Connor at that time. And, and these young kids, they're cutting their teeth in the sport, you know, so there's a lot of learning. But Tom put on a phenomenal show there. Crowd are loving it. You guys looking at home. These guys are only 16, so you can imagine what they're going to be in three, four years' time when they start hitting their, their young 20s. But, guys, just because a fighter loses doesn't mean they can never come back and become stronger for it. For sure. That's where your most learning comes from, everyone at home, you know, just because something sets you back doesn't mean you can't grow from it and improve, and that's what the right person will do if that type of experience happens. They will grow from that and improve, come back a better man or a girl. Absolutely.